bad habits. Everybody has them. And you know what? They prevent you from accomplishing your goals. They jeopardize your health, both physically and mentally. And in general, they're a waste of your time and energy. Why do we still have them? And more importantly, is there anything we can do about it? In a previous video, I listed out 10 bad habits that men need to stop. Today, I'm gonna to focus on some real world ways to make changes so that you can delete these bad behaviors and, you know, stick to some good ones instead. I'm gonna talk about it. I'm Rob Johnson and welcome to the Legacy Gentleman channel. As I said, today I'm gonna to be talking about how to break bad habits. Let me start with this disclaimer. I certainly do not have the answer to every one of your problems, but I will share with you what I've learned about how to break habits. But for all these problems, the first thing you need to do is pray to God for his guidance, for the healing that you definitely are promised in his word. And next, you might even need to seek professional help. Most of the time, bad habits are simply a way with, of dealing with boredom and stress. Everything from biting your nails to overspending and shopping, drinking too much on the weekend, or even watching porn. And yes, even a little bit of porn is a bad habit. They're all a response to stress and boredom. But you know what? It doesn't have to be that way. You can teach yourself new and healthy ways of dealing with stress and boredom, which can be substituted in place of your bad habits. As I've mentioned before, there might be a deeper cause for some of these things, and stress and boredom can actually surface because of deeper issues. This is kind of that idea that I talked about, figuring out your five whys and what caused an issue, but seriously, you really need to understand what's causing this problem, and it might require professional help. Whether you get professional help or not, Christ definitely has the answer for whatever issue you might be dealing with. So when you're thinking about these issues, it might be tough, but you're serious about making that change, you have to be honest with yourself. So to get to this deeper reason, I want you to ask yourself, are there certain beliefs or reasons behind this bad habit? Is there something deeper? Is it fear? Is it an event from your childhood? Is it a limited belief that's causing you to hold on to this bad habit? See, recognize the cause of your bad habit is critical for you overcoming it. I want you to think about it like this. All habits you have in your life right now, good or bad, are in your life for a reason. In some way, these behaviors provide some sort of perceived benefit to you, even the bad ones. Sometimes the reason you feel like these are benefits, it's because it's genetic. You have a history in your family of drinking or smoking, so that's why you drink or smoke. Other times it's emotional, like when you're in a bad relationship and you just feel like you have to stay in it, even though you know it's bad for you. In many cases, your bad habit is simply a way of coping with stress. So the overarching idea behind this is, is because even your bad habits provide you what is perceived as a benefit to your life, they're very difficult just to eliminate. Going cold turkey simply has a hard time of working for a lot of people. So instead, what I'm encouraging you to do is to look at these bad habits and replace them with a habit that's beneficial to you. See, bad habits really do address a certain perceived need in our life. And for that reason, it is better to replace that bad habit with a healthier behavior that addresses that same perceived need. If you expect yourself to simply cut out a bad habit without replacing it, then you're probably gonna find you're gonna have some needs unmet It'll be harder to stick to this cold turkey. And really in the long run, you'll probably go back to that bad habit. So I'm big on planning ahead. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to sit down now and think about what bad behaviors you know you want to break. And then I want you to plan a substitute for them. See, planning ahead of time, you will know what to do when you feel that trigger of stress or boredom. A lot of times this is just habits. We get into this pattern of behavior and then we go do things. So if you're someone who wants to stop smoking, replace smoking with deep breathing exercises, if that helps. Sometimes people have talked about how they would go chew on carrots to kind of fix this oral fixation, but have a substitute in place. If you feel like a need to look at social media, look at TikTok, look at Instagram, have something to do instead. Get up and go do some exercise. So the next thing that you can do is to cut as many of those triggers as you can. See, if you smoke when you drink, then don't go to the bar. If you eat cookies when you get home, then get all the cookies out of your house. If the first thing you do, like me, you just come home and sit down on the couch and grab the remote, then get the remote out of there. 
You want to make it easier for yourself to break these bad habits by avoiding the things that cause it and then making it more difficult for you to do it. And like I mentioned before, have a substitute in hand. See, right now your environment makes your bad habits easier and good habits harder. So change your environment and you can change your outcome. We're not doing life alone. We're doing life with a bunch of other people. So what you can do is you can join forces with someone. You know, how often have you tried to die in private or maybe you tried to quit in private and you've had a hard time doing it. But I can tell you, if you find like-minded people, like-minded men in a community to help you work through these issues, you can hold each other accountable, you can celebrate your victories together, and knowing that somebody has expectations for you is powerful to hold you to your convictions and is a great motivator. So join forces with somebody to help you replace that bad habit. The next powerful thing you can do is to surround yourself with people who live the way you want to live and think the way you want to think. I'm not saying you need to ditch all your old friends. You need to estimate that on your own. But I am saying you don't need to underestimate the power of the people around you. If you're going in a certain direction because God is leading you in a way, because you have ambitions for a certain thing, and these people that you have in your life are not going that same way, you really need to evaluate you hang out with it. But I want you to just visualize yourself succeeding. That's with these bad habits, but I really think that's a great thing for life. So if you're trying to see yourself throw away cigarettes and buying healthy food and waking up earlier, you need to take some time in your day and visualize yourself doing it. Visualize yourself crushing your last pack of cigarettes and throwing it away. Visualize yourself being that guy that gets up and go to the gym. Visualize yourself being a person who works hard and prays and makes this community better. See, these are all things you do to build your new identity. And I 100% guarantee you that a lot of us miss this step. There is power in your thinking. The Bible even says, as a man thinketh, so he is. So you need to visualize yourself walking into that success in every part of your life. We're specifically talking about bad habits here, but man, when you get a hold of visualizing what God has for your life, when you get in the habit of visualizing, being successful, it will change your life and you're gonna go walk in it. So visualize yourself succeeding. I'm a firm believer that you need to get rid of negative self-talk. But honestly guys, sometimes it happens. Sometimes you're not paying attention and you get doubt on yourself. So when that negative self-talk happens, I want you to throw the word but in there. Every time your mind slips up and you make a mistake and you tell yourself something like, oh, how much I suck, you say but but I'm going to make it happen, but I'm going to be awesome. Remember to throw the butt on it and talk about the truth about who you are in Christ, a overcomer, a person who can achieve anything because of the power of Christ that lives in you. Throw butts at the end of that negative self-talk when it creeps in. Look guys, breaking bad habit takes time, it takes effort, and it mostly takes perseverance. Most people who end up breaking bad habits try multiple times because they fail multiple times before it actually works. And honestly, guys, you might not have success right away, but that doesn't mean you will not have success at all. This is something that you can do. This is something that there's burning in you to get rid of those bad habits so you have the ability to do it. Substitute that bad habit with some good habits. Find some people that'll lift you up. Get rid of all that negative self. Talk about yourself and believe it by picturing yourself overcoming and doing it in your mind. That will help you break those bad habits so they will not be a worry for you anymore and you'll be able to achieve all those high goals in life that you've set for yourself. Thank you for stopping by the Legacy Gentleman channel. If you found something in this video useful, please like it. If you wanna see more videos like this, where we're talking about the things that'll help men be better in the world, in their community, and reach the goals that they set for themselves, then hey, subscribe to this channel because that's what we talk about here on Legacy Gentlemen. We're helping you to build the skills, works, and values that'll be admired and desired a thousand years from now. That's what a Legacy Gentleman is. And until next time, go be legendary.